From 1939 to 1945, crime rose in London by over 50 percent. And again, it, they attributed a lot to people feeling desperate, people not knowing when their last day would be. So they would just it was a lot of looting, robbing, criminal attacks. It was it was a bad place to be at that time. Well, their whole lives were turned upside down and even just trying to get food, water, shelter. I mean, places were destroyed. So I'm going to take you forward to February of 1942. So by this time, the Blitz was over. But blackouts were still being observed all across London to avoid further air attacks or other attacks on civilians and the city itself. On the morning of February 9th, an electrician was walking to work and saw a torch, a flashlight, lying on the ground outside of an air raid shelter. When he peered inside, he saw the body of a woman. She was lying on her back, and the officers who arrived on the scene could see signs of strangulation, and based on the bruising, they could tell that the killer was left-handed. 